classification is another part of a biosecurity program. What I mean by classification is that we classify our patients according to a color-coded system. And there's four different color codes. Everything from green, that is at low risk of spreading an infectious disease, to a code red, which means they do have an infectious disease and is at high risk of potentially spreading that disease amongst our patients. So as you can see right here, this animal, when we talk about the color codes, go from green, yellow, orange, and red. We track this now on the stall with a certain color-coded system, which right here, this yellow sticker, means this animal is at moderate risk of obtaining a disease because how sick she is, she's immunocompromised, she's pregnant, but at the same time, she has moderate risk of potentially spreading a disease because she's so sick that she could potentially spread salmonella. And so with this kind of protocol, this will require booties to enter the stall. We already talked about gloves are mandatory for all patients, but it also requires a dip pan to get into the stall. To enter and exit the stall, you must dip your feet. And the code orange require a gown, and the code red requires you to go to isolation facility, which is a separate aspect of our hospital, that we have an isolation facility that high-risk patients or patients that are known to have an infectious disease will have to go to so we can isolate them from the rest of the hospital community so they won't get so your patient does not get sick. And with this bio classification system, we document on the computer so we can keep track of where every patient is moving within our facility or where they have moved just in case we end up having increased incidence of hospital-acquired infections. I can look back on the computer and see what patients have moved where.